M35, A2, M715. What I think are the two best websites for military vehicles, M715zone.com and Steel Soldiers, which covers everything. Uh, once a month or so, people are looking for M715 tow bar adapters. Some people just want pictures, know what they look for, what they look like. So let me talk about those. But first, we got to talk about the M series vehicles. 1948, the new Department of Defense for the United States started naming all the vehicles. An M34 was a two and a half ton truck with single rear wheels. The M35, two and a half ton truck, dual rear wheels. The M36 was dual and a half, was dually, dual tired, longer bed. The M37 was a three quarter ton truck, what everyone calls the power wagon nowadays. The M38 was the Jeep. Uh, the M37, the three quarter ton power wagon, and the Jeep had, all the vehicles had fittings like this on the front, shackle mounts, or shackle on the front. The M37 and M38 had three quarter inch pins right here. The deuce and a half and up had one inch pins. That worked great. Every, there were feet that had a three quarter or one inch pin that you flipped it over, flipped it back over, could work on any of them. Well, when they got to the 715 in 1967, somehow or another, it got screwed up. What they did was, I don't know why. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right. I added these. This is not stock. Nor's the bumper. The bumper is six inch channel iron. I made this bumper because the stock bumper on a 715 is total junk. It is super thin stamped steel that bends if you look at it wrong. And it wasn't on this truck when I got it. Oh, tow barring. If you're gonna tow bar one of these trucks, a 715, have the bumper. I showed up at the 2006 M715 National Field Exercise what was it called? Wheeling in the country in Summertown, Tennessee. And a guy on the zone and steel soldiers, Gimpy Rob, had his, his 725 ambulance there. No front bumper. He'd flat towed it from Cincinnati and his frame rails had split apart. Always, always have a bumper. If you're going to use a tow bar, have the bumper. Now, back to tow barring. The M37 had the three quarter inch, one of these things shackle mount. The M35 had the one inch mount. For whatever reason, Kaiser Jeep built this with a three quarter inch mount behind the bumper. I assume they got some kind of bonus for screwing the government over. I don't know. But what they, what they came up with was this bracket. Could also be that since these vehicles are very tough to pull, they are, they're really too heavy to flat tow unless you have a dually. I have flat towed this behind single wheel trucks and it's never a fun experience. Behind dualies, behind my 715, or behind my M35, no issues. A single wheel vehicle, not fun. So what these bracket adapters do, three quarter inch pin that goes through the frame rail, back underneath here, comes out, right here's this, another three quarter inch hole so you can put your shackles back on. I'm not sure why you want to, but whatever. You have to carry extra pins. And then a one inch hole right here. That is for the tow bar feet to go on to. So you can hook up a medium tow bar. Do not try using a light tow bar with a 715. It will hurt you or it will could kill you or anybody around you. All right. When I built my bumper, I did not have these feet or adapters. Couldn't find them. I heard stories about them showing up on eBay every now and then, oftentimes in boxes of parts that people are selling. Somebody just saw one sticking out of the box and, you know, military junk, <laughs> whatever the ad said. Uh, I didn't have any. So I was going to the 2008 National Gathering up in Buena Vista, Colorado for these trucks. And I was going to trailer it, but I knew we'd be on the trails. And if something happened, I had a big block 396 in here then. Uh, 
I took the rear shackle mounts off of one of my Gasser M35s, which had a 7 8 inch pin. I bored it out to one inch. When I did the channel iron bumper, I put these big, huge uh, 5 8 bolts in there. This is very solid. So I can put a regular tow bar on, ready to go. Then I found these. So I had these as well. I have never used these. I use this. I trust this more with these two big bolts than I do the one three quarter inch pin back in through there. But I have them and no, they're not for sale. They go with, they stay with the truck because you never know. I might break those off or actually what happened was I did, I bored it out to like one inch even. And if I don't use it, if I don't spray it down with rust cleaner and clean them out, the pin won't go in. I bored these, I, I gotta make them a little bit bigger. Or just keep on spraying it and cleaning it. Shotgun cleaner works pretty good. Uh, okay, M715 tow bar adapters. This is what they look like. This is where they go. This is how they're supposed to be. Hopefully that, anybody looking for one, it helps out a little bit.